Uh, I'm going to share something here that uh, is a delicate subject. Um, I've covered this in, through a lot of number of videos that I've done. It naturally goes all the way back to my childhood of what I say, when I say it, whether I say anything or not. Uh, because when you're when you're fully integrated, experiencing yourself as a light spirit body over soul, and you know what your job is, okay, you don't want to do anything that's going to compromise the reason why you're here to begin with, okay? So now we're back to communication, uh, the language that we use to communicate with others. Because when you're running, no mass, fully integrated, no mass, then we're experiencing the one, the pure light energy field, the sound and light that's joined as one is on fire. So you're experiencing being on fire. So you know that you're running at a very high rate of torque speed. And that torque speed is what allows us to transmute error codes at a very high rate of speed because we're running on the right codes, which is the right pathway. <laughs> Experiencing what love is, it's on fire to give energy away, which is the energy that we use to create with out of what we are, which is what love is, which is as pure as it gets. So that's what I was saying when I was a child. That's what I am. I am what love is in living spirit. Wherever you find love in living spirit, you'll find us. I experience being one equal unto all other living life forms. That's why, as I've said many times, I'm experiencing a killing field, a field, a morphogenetic field structure of massive sacrifices, okay? And so all you have to do is scan the terrain and you're experiencing, remember, I was crying and crying and crying and I cried for four days with mama, experiencing all the trauma, trying to heal all of it, which would be every living life form in spirit to experience what we are, which is what love is. That's what heals us. That's basic math. That's basic spiritual, natural science. Okay? So when I was a child, it means that you can tell the difference between the truth and a lie, which is the difference between fake light or finite light and what real, natural, pure love and light is. The sound and light joined as one. The first one, the first giver, the first giver of energy, consciousness energy. So I remember listening a while back to a tribal elder with a Navajo talked about gossip. They're talking behind my bank. What are they talking about? Right now, when I was a child, I realized that I can't hide because I'm, I can't hide. I can't run from myself. That means that when you're experiencing pure, absolute love as one equal unto all other life forms, right? Which means everything that is in my mirror is everything that I am that I'm gifting love to without having to think about it. That's what full integration is as a light over soul spirit body. So that means that everything that I'm experiencing is being recorded is the truth of what I'm experiencing. Now I have to decide on whether or not I want to share that truth with somebody else. Right. And so what happens is I find myself, for example, sharing things, all the stuff that I share, for example, with 13th White Bear Arcturian clan mother, Karen and Luke McDonald. OK, so when when I become aware of the communications that are taking place between other units of consciousness, one temple communicating with another temple. So, for example, um Certain people will tell me things about what they've learned through experience, having a communication relationship with another. Now I become aware of what they become aware of by virtue of that relationship. I didn't experience it directly because I'm not who Patty Broussard is, for example, nor am I who Karen Ann Luke McDonald is. So what ends up happening is I'm getting mixed messages. And the reason that I'm getting mixed messages here is because on the one hand, if I believe what's true by virtue of the way that she communicates to us, the relationship she has with Patty, okay, now I can believe what that information is because I trust you 
because I know that you're not going to lie to me because you're experiencing what love is. And then I'm going to experience what Patty's experiencing by virtue of what she says, because I don't believe that she's deliberately trying to lie to anybody. So now you're into what you're going to give intention to or what you're going to energize and record into your mirror. Now you're into burning your own CDs. Remember, I cover have did another uh, videos when I was at Grant's past. Who wants to experience that? That's not what love is. So I don't want to be held captive by what somebody else is recording in their record versus what I record in my record. So I just won't have any communication relationship with them anymore because they're pushing too much stuff into my mirror or onto the Facebook that I don't want to experience because it's not what love is. Why would I want to record that? That's not who I am. So then what ends up happening is I'm recording into my life book, which is my record, something that they're recording in their record, which isn't what I am. And this is, this is where the communication relationships, like, for example, I'll share with Patty Broussard things that I experienced by virtue of experiencing, which means it's already been recorded, which means it's already part of the record. You can't hide from it. Okay? So if you live in absolute eternal truth, which is absolute eternal, eternal love, it's just like I shared with all of you the relationship I have with a lady in, in, uh, in Lagos, Nigeria. I dumped it all out there. You want to you want to experience everything that I experienced? I will share with you everything that I've experienced. It's already on my record. I can't hide from my own record. Right? So now you're into burning off where black holes become a convenience to get rid of self-destructive technologies. Right? And then running no time. I'm, I don't experience any time. I only experience what love is at, at, the, at the end or the completion of a circuit, which is my breath. I'm experiencing what love is. It goes on forever because that's what I am. So now I'm experiencing torque speed difference between those that aren't experiencing what that is by virtue of what they're recording in their memory. Based on the codes. So what I do is I have to, I have to make choices on whether I want to expose the codes of what the mental field, what they're held captive to, that they're choosing to record into their memories. Between what? Eternal light and dead light. Machine code. Right? Being held captive to the mental field. Because the mental field on this planet is sick. It's mentally ill. And you know that because the mental field is not experiencing being one. Gifting electrons. And running at variable speeds, which is the math, which is the alchemy. The numbers and the letters. Right? Right? So in other words, I could be accused of gossiping because I share things in Patty's window, right? By virtue of the communication relationships I have with Karen, right? And everyone else that I'm communicating with that I become aware of what they're aware of because they're communicating to me what they're aware of, which is energy, which is consciousness, right? So I've always said this since I was a little kid. I'm an open book, a cosmic level avatar spirit. That means that my library is always open. That means that the ones library, the first library, the first library builder, the first builder tools of a universe is always open, which means we have access to the information from which we can learn, which means we're learning at the highest rate of speed through the first librarian. That's a master librarian. That's an ascended spiritual master, which is fully integrated experience being one at the completion of every breath, which is experiencing what love is. It goes on forever. So we're equal unto all other life forms that we're gifting love to that goes on forever. So this is why I had to be careful about what I was going to expose and not expose by virtue of the relationship that I have with each other. So what it really is, is a measurement of healing. Because when you're running no mass, non-polarized consciousness, it's easy to map somebody's temple as to whether or not they're fully integrated, which means you're mapping their speed their density speed wave of what they're still held captive to that's held in memory that they're still running as a memory-driven program app, which is an application of consciousness that is represented by those codes. Yeah. So you know what a torque converter is, yeah? That means torque converting back to the original language, which is the original math, which is the first alchemist. See? So I made a recommendation, so I'll put it out there. That um, if, if, if this is one of the reasons why I make, I try and be like a little birdie making suggestions 
Now, what I have to be careful is, is that if you follow that because of what I'm sharing with you, then I became a direct influence on what you're going to experience in the future by virtue of what I communicated. See, now we're back to when I was a child again. And I realized, like, for example, when my dad would say, um, the golden rule, the Emerald Golden Rule, co-evolution, co-peace, co-love, right? Co-peace, experience of being in peace with Mama Earth, right? Okay, so therefore, I would say to myself, well, basic math logic will tell you that if I rock somebody else's boat, they're going to have a chemical reaction, electrodynamic re reaction, right? It's a completion of a magnetic circuit. Now, I have no way to know what their reaction may be, or do I? You know what a volatile substance is, right? A volatile reaction state. So now, you're, now we're into the art of communication, which is the art of healing communication. Which means knowing how to communicate in a way that's not going to trigger something held in memory because it's yet to be cleared. Right? Which means they still need to heal because we're able to measure what? Their resistance to experience no mass. Right? That's full integration. Now you're experiencing being one. That's equal unto all others because that's an equilibrium state of consciousness, right? You want to be a gas. You want to experience being a gas. You want to experience being a solid. You want to experience being a semi-solid. You want to experience being what? Whatever your state is, which is a variable speed, which is the alchemy, which is proportional. So you know what it is to be proportional, right? Just like when they use the null hypothesis to eliminate every variable, to eliminate every distorted sound wave. So that you're experiencing perfection, which means the burn time, the burn patterns, the torque speed ratios. That means the mathematical ratios are perfect. There are no mistakes, none, zero, which is pure mass. Excuse me, no, no mass, pure, absolute love that's on fire. So you're not experiencing any mass. You're not experiencing any density. You're not experiencing any dimension yet. You're experiencing the one. You experience being one. That's what I am. I experience being one, equal unto all the other ones, all the other temples, all the other templates. And that's how simple it is. But arriving to that point, the exact center point of the first star, the first spiral, is another matter, which has everything to do with healing, which is self corrected. Self correcting your speed, self correcting your spiral to rebuild yourself. So you're getting rid of what doesn't serve us because you realize that the codes don't work because they run error codes, which means you're able to do a mathematical analysis of the system design engineer and realize they're running behind. Oh, they're running behind. Yes, which is called a learning speed curve potential, which is a CQ3Q, which is the light potential, which is the accretion potentials which simply means their ability to create and hold that much energy without burning themselves up. Now we're back to a thermograph, right? Which is self-monitored in your engine, your accretion levels and being able to monitor it. And that's why we have a lot of help. It's not like we're not being monitored here because we are between there and here, right? So the accretion levels are being monitored even on an individual level, believe it or not, because we do have assistants that are helping us yeah. And so that has a lot to do with measuring over time space vectors. Our ability to correct the codes and experience the Echo codes. Man, now I'm running at a higher rate of speed. Now I'm creating at a higher rate of speed. Now I'm rebuilding my temple at a higher rate of speed. Whoa. Right. Experience of being one blood. The first blood. The first bio. Oh, bio. Ah, uh, yeah. Have a beautiful day. So what it means is that I, I run an open library. Which means I do not live in fear of exposing what I've experienced. By virtue of all the other experiencers experiencing what they're experiencing. And then I become aware of it. And then it becomes a part of our record. So I share part of my record. Right? By virtue of what we're learning through each other. Being together with each other. Because there isn't any separation. The collective consciousness of all there is. Our librarians, we're all running libraries. Circulation speed libraries. Changing out libraries. 
changing out codes, getting rid of codes, getting rid of error codes, getting rid of distorted waves. Now we're into the repairables and the non-repairables and the speed at which it takes to repair ourselves and be repairable, right? Misha is repairable. And how do I know that? Because I can feel it. I can map. I can map soul to soul, eyes to eyes. When I realized that she was crying and she was crying and she was deeper, she's des- desperate to experience what love is. That means she wants to surrender her spirit to experience pure, absolute, eternal light because she experienced it with me and she wants it badly. And if she's wanting it badly, she's repairable. Because she was experiencing what I was. She was experiencing being loved. And that's what she wants to experience. She wants to be able to experience what love is within her own auric energy field. With her own soul, spirit, consciousness. And if there is a girl that wants to do that, she can do that. That means she's repairable. I know that because I was measuring that within her. So that's not an expendable. That's not a throwaway. Right? So that's what we do is measuring <laughs> repairables, non-repairables. And that's why we're here. And that's why the repair signals are going out. That's called repair codes, which are rebuilding, rebuilding temples, rebuilding planetary temples, rebuilding galactic temples, rebuilding universal templates. That's why we're here. Emerald Guardians, have a great day. We love you all.